ringworm isn't a worm. It's a skin infection that is caused by mole-like fungi that live on the dead tissues of your skin, hair, and nails. Hello everyone and welcome to Microbiology Insider. If you're new to this channel, I do videos about disease caused by microorganisms and microbiology techniques in general. Before I ride on, please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it. In this video, I will be covering the following objectives. What is a ringworm infection? Symptoms of ringworm infection. How to recognize ringworm on different parts of the body. Causes of ringworm infection. The complications associated with ringworm infection. Method of preventing ringworm infection. How ringworm infection can be diagnosed and how ringworm can be treated. Ringworm, also known as dermatophytosis, is a fungal infection. It's usually an itchy circular rash with clearer skin in the middle. Ringworm gets its name because of its appearance. No worm is involved. Ringworm infection can affect both humans and animals. Some symptoms of a ringworm infection include itchiness, itchy or scaly patches that are red, brown or gray, or raised areas of skin called cliques, a round flat patch of itchy skin. Patches that develop blisters or pustules. Patches that resemble a ring with deeper color on the outside. Patches with edges that are defined and raised overlapping rings. And finally, hair loss. So I'm now going to talk about how you could recognize a ringworm infection on the different parts of the body. Ringworm can look different depending on which part of the body is affected. Doctors call ringworm different names depending on where it appears on the body. Ringworm on the body. The term ringworm is mostly commonly used to refer to tinea corporis or ringworm of the body. This form often appears as patches with the characteristic round ring shape on your torso or limbs. On the scalp, ringworm of the scalp or tinea capitis often starts as isolated scaling in the scalp that develops into itchy, scaly barbed patches. It's most common among children. Hair around the affected area may break or fall off and bad patches may develop. Ringworm of the beard, also called tinea barbe, affects your cheeks, chin, and upper neck and can cause bad patches. This may look like acne folliculitis, or another skin condition. Some people experience fatigue or swollen lymph nodes. Ringworm of the hands. Ringworm of the hand, or tinea manum, is usually caused by touching another affected area, such as your groin or foot. Infection of the hand may look like very dry skin, with deep cracks on the palm. If the infection spreads, you may see ring-shaped patches on the back of your hand. Ringworm of the groin. Jock itch, known as tinea curis, refers to ringworm infection of the skin around the groin, inner tights, and buttocks. 
It's most common in men and adolescent boys. This usually starts as an itchy red, brown or grey rash where your leg and body meet. The itching may intensify after exercise and may not improve after using anti-itch cream. Ringworm of the feet Athlete's foot or tinea pedis is the common name for ringworm infection of the foot. It's frequently seen in people who walk barefoot in public places where the infection can spread, such as locker rooms, showers, and swimming pools. This starts as dry scaly skin between your toes that may spread to your soul and heal. Symptoms may include an itching, stinging, or burning sensation, blistering, peeling, and a foul odor. Ringworm of the nails Onychomycosis, also called tinea ungium, is a ringworm infection of the nails. It affects toe nails more than fingernails, as footwear often provides a moist, warm environment that fungi prefer. Affected nails may become thicker or discolored. They may even begin to crack or lift away from your nail bed. About 40 different species of fungus can cause ringworm. They are typically of the Trichophyton, Microsporum, and Epidomophyton types. These fungi can live on your skin and other surfaces, particularly damp areas. They may also live for an extended period of time as spores in soil. The fungi can spread to humans in four ways. Human to human. You can get the infection if you come in contact with a person who has ringworm or if you share personal items such as combs or towels. The infection is commonly spread among children and by sharing items harboring the fungus. Animal to humans You can get ringworm after touching an affected animal or even items the animal has come in contact with. Cats and dogs are common sources, but other animals such as farm animals can spread the fungi as well. Ringworm infection can also spread from objects to humans. You may get the infection if you come in contact with an object or surface that has it, such as a telephone or the floor of a public shower. These fungi thrive in damp environments. From soil to humans. Humans and animals can get ringworm after direct contact with soil that is carrying the fungi. Complications associated with ringworm infection. A fungal infection rarely spreads below the surface of the skin to cause serious illness. But people with weak immune systems such as those with HIV and AIDS, they find it difficult to get rid of the infection. Ringworm is difficult to prevent. The fungus that causes it is common, and the condition is contagious even before symptoms appear. Take these steps to reduce your risk of ringworm. Keep clean. Wash your hands often. Keep shared areas clean, especially in schools, child care centers, gyms, and locker rooms. 
If you participate in contact sports, shower right after practice or a match and keep your uniform and gear clean. Stay cool and dry. Don't wear thick clothing for long periods of time in warm, humid weather. Avoid excessive sweating. Also, don't share personal items. Don't let others use your clothing, towels, hairbrushes, sports gear, or other personal items. And don't borrow such things. Avoid infected animals. The infection often looks like a patch of skin where fur is missing. If you have pets or other animals, ask your veterinarian to check them for ringworm. Your doctor will diagnose ringworm by examining your skin and possibly using a black light to view the affected area. Depending on the type of fungus, it may sometimes fluorescence under black light. Your doctor may confirm a diagnosis of ringworm by requesting certain tests. If you are getting either a skin biopsy or fungal culture, your doctor will take a sample of your skin or discharge from a blister and send it to a lab to test for the presence of the fungus. If you are getting a potassium hydroxide exam, your doctor will scrape off a small area of the affected skin onto a slide and place drops of a liquid called potassium hydroxide on it. The potassium hydroxide breaks apart typical skin cells, making the fungal elements easier to see under a microscope. Your doctor may recommend both medications and lifestyle adjustment to treat ringworm. Your doctor may prescribe various medications depending on the severity of your ringworm infection. Jock itch, athlete foot, and ringworm of the body can all typically be treated with topical medications such as antifungal creams, ointments, gels, and sprays. Some severe cases may be treated with oral medications. Ringworm of the scalp or nails may require prescription strength oral medications such as griseofuvin or tebinafin. We've come to the end of this video and I want to say a big thank you to all those who have been part of the Microbiology Insider family. Let's keep growing our community while we keep spreading awareness to diseases caused by microorganisms, how they can be prevented, how they can be diagnosed and the causes and also how they can be treated. Do not forget to follow us on our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also on TikTok. Before you leave, please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so when next we upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it.